and it is a cold and frosty start to the day, cold enough for some snow. I have flakes in the air here this morning at Market Bosworth. I'm at Friesland Farm, the largest pick your own Christmas tree farm in the UK, and hopefully that will have you feeling festive. All the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Right across the country, and you know, my very first job for the Met Office was working at Cardiff Weather Centre, providing the weather forecast for the people who go out and grit all of the routes across Wales and the southwest of England. So there's people up all night monitoring all of the road networks. So it's a big, big team effort. And actually, I love that job. Uh, but yes, I am wrapped up warmly this morning. We're at one of the coldest places in the country. It is minus five degrees here this morning. I'm at Friesland Christmas Tree Farm. It is the largest pick your own Christmas tree farm in the whole of the UK. They have is there for the big light switch on and next year he will get a tour of Downing Street for having his winning prized wreaths. So yes, wreaths, Christmas trees, feeling festive. We even had some snow this morning. Here's the details. I forgot, this is an example of the wreath that they have. Uh, now, weather-wise this morning, yes, like I said, it was minus five degrees here first thing this morning, and it was cold enough for flakes of snow to fall in the air, and I actually passed many gritters on my way here first thing this morning. We actually have temperatures as low as minus eight degrees forecast as we head through the next few nights with these clear starry skies, allowing temperatures to tumble. And for today, it's cold and frosty to start, plenty of sunshine, but rain in the south. And with the cold, it means there are warnings across northern and eastern Scotland and eastern areas of England like we had yesterday for snow and ice. So snow showers falling onto these cold surfaces and that means it could be icy where surfaces haven't been treated. But the price you pay for the cold will be the gorgeous autumn sunshine, the last day of meteorological autumn and that lasts all day long for most of us, not for all. In the far south, the weather front brings cloud and rain and actually the risk of snow across the southwest of England, across the moors today, five to ten centimetres and temperature wise, two to five degrees at best. Good morning, and if that didn't have you feeling festive, this will. I am at the largest Christmas tree farm in the whole of the UK, where you can come and pick your own Christmas trees. I'm surrounded by them here this morning, and I've learnt some great top tips if you're coming to get yours this weekend, which is the most popular one. They obviously need watering. Think about them as a freshly cut flower, but the best thing you can do is put a little bit of lemonade in so that they drink the sugar, and that helps to keep them as fresh for as long as possible and keep them away from radiators and open fires, because that will dry them out. And dry is certainly the name of the game for many of us as we head through the next few days with the weather. It is cold as well. Temperatures in the coming nights as low as minus eight degrees and it means we have frost and ice warnings first thing this morning, mostly across northern and eastern Scotland and the northeast of England, but also down towards the south and west. And here is why. The satellite and radar picks out a weather front in the south and it's bringing with it rain, some milder air, but bumping into the cold air and across the higher ground of the southwest of England, so the moors, we could see five to ten centimetres of snow today. Elsewhere, it's a crisp cold but it will eventually sunny start to the day with temperatures between two and five degrees but it will feel more like freezing. How do things pan out as we head through the next seven days? Well we'll look across 